guys are horny. I'm like, your horniness is a problem, dude. Like, because it's pushing you to do things that you shouldn't do. And that's falling into her traps. And you're presuming it'll be fine, but she could just blow the whistle at any point in time. So, in my opinion, if you want to engage with women, you should take your time. Like, I understand you're horny, but that's, part, that's your problem, literally. Because you don't know who you're dealing with. And you don't know if you really want to engage with her. Should I engage with her? You meet a lot of, a lot of people, and at the surface, it can be, there's a pleasantness and a chemistry. Yeah, but this is the surface. You don't know what's living beneath the surface. And it's up to you to discover that and to see if, if it's worth my time. Is, is it worth my time to invest in this person? But maybe all you want is a fuck. So if that's the case, already you got an issue. This is my opinion. I know that in your book, being a man is I want to fuck and I want to get laid. I'm like, yeah, you're a moron because you don't have any sexual mastery and you need to always spill your energy. And it's not I'm telling you not to want to fuck. I'm saying if you can't contain your energy and select proper stocks or cryptocurrencies to invest in, aka women, then you're not a good investor. So your energy is, a, is, is your resources. And let's say the woman that you you're like, it's, she's a project. It's literally that. So if you don't have a reason to invest in that project, so you, maybe you're gambling. Maybe it'll work out for you, but maybe one time it won't. But at the end of the day, you're losing something. So if you want to engage with women, in my humble opinion, you should take your time and actually get to know the person and see if you like that person and if that person, what kind of stability does she have and do you want to invest in this relationship? And when I'm saying this, just that, let's be clear, I'm not talking about being a boyfriend-girlfriend type of shit. When I say relationship, I have a relationship with my friends who are men, I have a relationship with animals, I have a relationship with women, I have all kinds of relationships with all kinds of people. For me, a relationship is a connection. And a connection for me, if I invest in a relationship, well, let's say, I, I know a dude, he's a grocer. I have a relationship with him. To which extent the relationship goes is according to our, what we want from one another, right? So again, that's why I'm saying it's a little, it's always the, the cop out that you just want to get laid. Well, that's what you want. If that works, it works. But for me, that's not worth it because you don't know how she'll respond. That's number one. Number two, you're wasting your energy also. That's precious energy that takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of resources to cultivate that energy and you just want to spill it like a moron because you can't contain yourself and you can't go through a process of actually meeting somebody and getting to invest and see if it's worth your time. So that's called being a good investor, a good investor in the world outside in finances and a good investor in your stocks of women. Like, do I want to invest energy with her and what's in it for me? Even if you want to get a good fuck, it's a question of investment and a little bit of depth. But most of you cats are, are drink and consume drugs, so you're not really yourselves, so you don't care about these things. But for those of you who are sober-minded sober people, you don't consume alcohol that just, well, when you're on alcohol, you're not yourself, are you? And neither is she. So if you're sober, you're not gonna fuck a random girl. It's disgusting, it's weird, I don't know you, I don't know if I want to connect with you like this. I want to get to actually know you. That's what soberness does. It's like, it, it sobers your mind, it sobers your behavior, it sobers your attitude, it sobers your actions. You don't just jump into things like an idiot because you're sober. And it's not necessarily you overthink things. It's like, no, you take the time to evaluate, feel off, dance. There's, you, you enjoy the process. You enjoy the dance. And sometimes it's like, no, like it's fun, it's a pleasant relationship, but the relationship stays here. There's no compatibility. 